Greetings and salutations. I'm Ken. Welcome back to this let's play of Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom. Still waiting for our little section of the Great Wall to finish. Oh yeah. Really doing. Really He's contented. That's fair enough. I suppose I could sacrifice stone to Nuva and try to get her here, but yeah. At this point, it's gonna be. Well, smooth sailing. I don't. There's gonna be more. Yeah, they're gonna need one more layer of stone, I think. On top of this, right? And, but this is gonna be the last dirt layer. I think. Just need those masons to finish the last. There's just one section to go, come on. Yeah, it's one all the way out here. Come on, move it, move it, move it. There we go. Dirt pushers, your turn. There we go. So you have 18 of them in total. I suspect most of them will be used, not all. Which is good. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. on these monuments tend to be fairly straightforward, fairly stable. And at least we're not dependent on imports to finish the monument. That's that's the killer, really. I mean, imagine if we had to import all this stone in order to build them all, and we can only import like 12 stones a year. Something like that. Again, the horror example would be uh, what they did in Pharaoh on the uh, pyramids of Kafa and Kufru, or the Kiops pyramids, those ones. That mission is atrociously long. I do believe you have to import at least the limestone on that map. I, don't, I think you have a regular stone quarry, but I think you have to import the limestone. And that takes a while. And I think that's the only map, I, as far as I can remember, the only map in Pharaoh where your population will simply die out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so geriatric that you have to keep building up new districts of the city in order to have any kind of working populace, because everybody's gonna be retired, essentially. Because there is some kind of population dynamics at the within that game. And I'm not sure if this that that part uh, that part was uh, transferred into Emperor. It might have been. I'm not even sure where I could go and see that. Uh, supplies walkers. Let's see industry no. Fairly certain they wouldn't transfer something like that into this game. No, it doesn't look like we have any kind of population uh, age, so to speak. Which is good. Don't get me wrong. It's very good to not have to deal with statistical curves of population age. Go, go, Sumpers. Do this. Don't go back. Get up here. Come on. You're going up at least. Oh, you're gonna need at least one more over here, aren't you? Maybe it's already there. One, two. And he's gonna. No, he's gonna not go there. He is, though. Excellent. So you're gonna stomp on this. That's the southern end done. How about the northern end? 
Yeah, we still need work there. But we're getting there. Pity I can't scroll up and actually see this, but... Mm. This needs stomping. Did you all go all the way up there? Dang it, that means we're gonna need to wait for a new guy to go all the way up to these last two areas, right? Oh yeah, there he goes. I'm there. Oh, that's the people that were on the far southern end. And now they're going all the way to the northern end. Ugh. Grumble. Ah well, they're gonna finish at some point. We should probably sacrifice stone. While we still can. Because there should be quite a few blocks ready to... Yeah, there we go. I'm just rushing down to deliver it, and immediately we'll have another load ready. So we can replenish that rather quickly. He's done. He's coming up there. I heard one stomping, so you're gonna be the last one. Our last stomper. There we go, that should start the next stage. Which requires... A ton of stone, but that's fine. 86 blocks, we have 80 stored, and we can easily refill the last few, so... Not gonna be a problem. Just need to deliver it all. And there you go with the masons. And we have actually not built up a catch reserve, so we have to finish this before the Mongols return. Because we can't afford to bribe them a second time. I really was nervous there earlier. I thought that was like the scripted end of the mission. Would have been thematically correct, really. You have to finish this before the Mongols arrive, or else. Good thing for us that wasn't the case, because if I really have to step on... ...step on it to get the, the thing up that fast, then I'm like... I don't even know if that would have, could have been feasible. Three years sooner than this. I thought we started on the Great Wall fairly quickly. Didn't we? I felt with it. Still waiting for a ton of stone, but it's getting there. There we go, look at that pretty, pretty little wall. Purty. It is purty. Scaffoldings do not look sturdy enough to hold back this wall, though. How has the wall been built, actually? Is it um, is it direct? Is it completely horizontal, uh, completely vertical, or is it actually some kind of inclining space, like in, like a mound here? I'm seriously wondering about this because if this is an earthen core inside there with the stones on top, it would just press down and out and basically make it collapse itself over time. Basically the same problem that you have with uh, European cathedrals, which are hard, had to have all these major arc arches on the outside to brace the walls, that sort of thing. That's why I'm wondering if it has some kind of slight inclination. If it really has dirt inside. Then again, if it's hard packed dirt, it shouldn't be quite so fluent, so to speak. Also, 
easily dislodged. I don't know. Well, I, I, we, I think we can assume that, that they knew what they were doing. I mean, <laughs> since we have a fair chunk of the wall still very much intact. Granted, after maintenance works over the centuries, but still. Just a few more masonry jobs to go. Like this bit up here. Now, if the Mongols return now, I think we'll be able to finish within six months. Actually, maybe not. We need that to all the towers and I have to walk all the freak out here. And that does take a while. I don't know. We shall see. Especially if you're just gonna go there and do one section and then go away. Ugh. I'm almost certain now he's gonna go all the way up here. Or not, because that part is done. <laughs> Fine then, so now it's just a sudden two, two bits here. Just two bits to go and nobody's going that way. Okay, I'm gonna assume then that the mason went all the way to the north here, made one little chop there, and was scheduled to finish off the next wall segment, which is all the way in the south. That makes sense on all the other monument projects, which don't have this kind of sprawling distance. But on this one... On this one, that's a real nuisance. I don't see him there, so I expect him to be walking cross-country downstairs. There we go, there he is. There he is. There he is. Come on, buddy. Move your chisel. Get down here. And of course you need only one segment. Oh. Okay, there you go. Your cousin is coming. You can finish the job. Can you build it? Yes, you can. Come on. There we go. Now we need more stone for the towers and the central turret and uh, central gate. There goes the mason. Is that all the stone you need? Apparently. So I'm guessing that's gonna be just the four towers then. I want to see three masons go out. That's one tower. Oh, that's right, he would probably use this shortcut up here, right? Or he wouldn't have gone up there at all. Is that the guy? Oh, there he is. Gonna build it southern towers. Or tower. Good. Don't think we're gonna need another tower there. There's just another tower here somewhere. I think. And then the gate, and we're done. And then we're off to a new city. I wonder, this could actually be the last. Oh, <laughs> we don't have enough food, really. Oh, you need at least... Okay. We had food, but not enough for variety, I guess. Oh, dear me. Yeah, I'm wondering if this is the final map of the whole game. Because we were in the Qin Dynasty, and at the next dynasty is going to be the Mongols, I'd assume. But there we go. Wall is done. Can't be the final mission, right? That would be something better than just building the wall. Excellent work, young architect. The Great Wall now spans the valley at Juyongguan and will stand as a barrier against invaders for many centuries. Genghis Khan will have to find another route to Zhongdu. Your success has led the Emperor to promote you to his Imperial Council. He believes there may be some work for you to do back at the capital. Okay, definitely not the last mission then, but still, 
I would have thought that uh, Genghis Khan would actually make it here, according to history. Uh, then again, and if I recall correctly, the Caesar III campaign ends with you constructing uh, a new capital, Nicomedia. So I don't know. Uh, onwards. What Genghis Khan wants, he usually gets. Stymied by our defenses at Jiangguan, the Mongol leader has turned to his envoy, Tsabar, a former emissary to Zhongdu. Evidently, this Tsabar knew of a hidden path through the woods off to the north. Using this secret way around our flank, the fortress city of Jiangguan fell. The Mongols are on their way to Zhongdu. Upgrade our defenses at Zhongdu quickly, young architect. The great Khan's army will be upon us before long. If you can defeat him, the Jin dynasty will have written a glorious new chapter in the long history of our great land. <laughs> Take this opportunity to then expand Zhongdu, growing it into a city that will be unsurpassed in the imperial records of China. Well then, okay, so now we definitely have some new challenges for us. So all our efforts at Jiangguan was just a waste of time. He got past anyway. And now he's heading straight for the capital. Yeah, this could be painful. But uh, what, did, what, what did we build at Zhongdu anyway? I don't recall. Uh, and what do we have to do? A Grand Pagoda and Heroes. That's, that's it. We already have the population. We already have the all the people we need. And that's good. Uh, but uh, what about the trade situation? Yeah, the city we built just isn't there. So much for that. Uh, pretty much everybody loves us. That's okay-ish, I guess. I'm gonna give them a gift of something. I send them a gift of hemp. Most likely we're gonna have to send them large volumes of silk and tea and just pacify them so they don't attack us during construction. Um, we do have a fair bit of money. And right, we did plan we did build a ton of silk here. Was this the one where I built in multiple avenues? Like, yeah, there we go. One section each. Um, did I not build an army here? Oh dear. We have no armies here at all. Um, oops. Yeah, this could get ugly. Uh, what, <laughs> what do we... Uh, did we produce steel or anything like that here? Uh, let's see. We have access to timber. But well, that's it. Can we fashion weapons? We can, but we need to import steel. Which obviously we will. Can we import weapons? Can import steel from the south. Oh dear. Okay, well, definitely gonna start importing steel immediately. Buy all the steel that we can. Import steel. Wait, Kaifeng. No, you buy steel. You don't. Uh, you're not gonna export it. No, no, no. Something that didn't add up. Let's see. Um, spices of jade, no. Cabbage beads, silk, ceramics, no. Yeah, of course it's gonna be this one, right? Yeah. The one warehouse which is completely overloaded by all the other good trans good things. Um, we're not gonna sell wheat anymore. And uh, we're... I think the rest is okay. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna have to build a Grand Pagoda. Uh, I don't think we're gonna need as much labor for it, so I'm gonna destroy these two. In fact, I don't think we need those at all. Ah, Polsky, there we go. Monument, and you are faced southward. Ah, we're gonna cope with that. Let's just cross from there instead. Plenty of employment 
Uh, we're gonna move these things closer. You know what, let's just reorganize a little bit here. Yeah, that's fair enough, and you can stay, that's okay too. And I think we're gonna make a road here instead. Just delete this entirely. And uh, we're gonna add two of each guild. Fairly certain that's gonna suffice. Two of each guild, one inspector. Uh, this one's definitely gonna need stone, so we're gonna set up one for stone here. Stone, 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 there we go. Except all the stone that we can possibly get. Yeah, that seems fair enough. Uh, now we need heroes. Definitely. Oh, you're angry! Oh, oh dear me. Oh, dear me. Uh, here we go. Tons of ceramics. Don't be angry. Yeah, four blocks of stone. See how this goes. Actually, we need to sell. I think, how do we do this? Sell that, but uh, don't have any capacity for. It. There we go. Now we can empty that darn thing of wheat. That's what we wanted to do. So that all these goods are actually transported into the city itself. Um. Why did he show up? Make me do anything you please. Okey doke. Whatever you say, buddy. Uh, we're definitely gonna go into the arms industry. So, uh, let's see. We are importing steel. Nowhere near enough. Uh, we can definitely build up buildings here. So, I'm just gonna plant down a couple of those. And, uh, well, we're just gonna have to start setting up infantry forts. We're gonna need quite a few forts. The Jaja respects us. That's nice. Um. Let's give them some silk. Why not? Give them silk and hope that they'll leave us alone. So we did get a hero, not the one we wanted, but that's okay. Uh, he's exalted, he's contented, so we need to get her into town. And what does that guy do again? The Monkey King. Isn't he from the... Uh, from the legend, yeah, there we go. Comforting the monk. Completely forget what it's called. That whole story. It's him and the monk and the kappa and the one other thingy bob that I don't not remember. Uh, was it a pig of some sort? Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, weaponsmiths, that's okay. Uh, so we kind of want you over in, near the weaponsmiths. Where are you, mister? If you bless them and make them work faster, that would be excellent. Yeah, I only vaguely recall the Monkey King from... from the manga and anime. Tsukisho, was that it? I don't quite recall. Been quite a few years since I read or watched that one. We need wood, you need, yeah, that's fine. We have wood here with stone there. The resources are gonna flow in. We have tons of unemployment. Uh, I could try to build a city wall. But in all honesty, I don't think it's gonna help. I think we're better off just saving up tons of money. So we can bribe off any invader. 
Mm, yeah, the first gift was the... There we go. They're displeased, let's try to make them pleased. Hopefully I won't get screwed over now. I might have to go all the way back to this mission previously, so that we can build up an army and have that ready before the palace is done. I don't even recall how many missions ago that would be. But that's worst case scenario. I'm fairly certain we'll still be able to bribe off any army that shows up. At least for a time. And that's why I'm also sending gifts of silk, so they might not be displeased. But if we can get them to open trade, they will not invade and we'll be okay. Because again, main focus here is just to get this thing up and running. Uh, we do need to make sure she is happy. I want her to come into town. What did we grow in this town anyway? Oh, pretty much everything. Now, this is a fairly quick construction, I think, so... It's gonna be dependent on the amount of, amount of stone we can import. But we shouldn't need all that much. Uh, permit alliance? Yeah, sure. Let's be friends, Shasha. Um. I have better things to do than stand here idle with these goods. The city needs more warehouse rooms to take my heavy load. Yeah, fair enough. We're gonna build a couple more infantry forts then. We're not really gonna need the catapults for defense, but I'm gonna build it anyway. And a cavalry fort. There you go, now we have places to go with all these weapons. Stop complaining about that, at least. There you go. That's basically because they can't stockpile the weapons in that building. This should be fine, though. Okay, I'm gonna take a break here. We'll see if we can get this temple up and off the ground, and we'll have to try to keep heroes in town all the time. And hopefully get this done before the Mongols show up again. Regardless, time for a break. Thank you for watching.